What is up guys, Herc here, and before I start this video, I just want to say that if you guys are interested in any Herc Fitness apparel, so far I have shirts and a couple of other pieces of merchandise, I will have a picture on screen. If you guys are interested in these shirts, uh, they, they come in all different sizes. Uh, you can go either message me on my Facebook page or email me in the email in the description. And if you guys want, we could do set, yeah, blah, 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 I can't talk. We could set up some sort of PayPal transaction and you guys can get the shirts in time for the holidays and you know if anybody's interested in that. So what has been going on as of recently? Well, I've been trying to graduate. So this semester I am graduating. I should be done in about two weeks or so. So I've really been on my grind getting my face in the books. But as far as training goes, I've been doing a 531 program. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with a 531 program, but it is mainly a strength and power building program. So I've been doing that, and honestly, the program that I'm following right now, I feel like hasn't really been doing much for me because the intensities are pretty low and the percentages that I have to increase by uh, every week just aren't really doing it for me. So I think once I restart this program, um, if I do decide to, to do it again, I'm gonna tailor the the percentages a little bit higher to a little bit more to my liking so that it can be more of a challenge. Because I feel like I'm not being challenged right now and that's a huge problem uh, anytime you're working out and trying to get to a pinnacle point. So other than that, um, let's talk about today's workout. So today I'm pretty much doing a uh, deadlift day. So I'm gonna start off with deadlifts. Uh, I was working on my sumo for a while, but today I decided to do conventional because um, I was really trying to pull conventional or, or sumo because um, I see that a lot of guys, a lot of guys at my weight class um, who have like, you know, world records and state records and stuff like that, a lot of them pull sumo because they have a shorter range of motion. So they're able to lift a weight and not, not go as far of a distance to pull the weight. Um, but the thing is that they have a lot of hip mobility and very, very strong quads. Um, my quads are decently strong, but they're not that big. So what I think I need to do is work a little bit more on hypertrophy. So uh, conventional deadlifts today, um, I'm gonna throw in some pull-ups somewhere in there. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else I have to do. I definitely have to do some, some rows, some back rows, and uh, maybe a little bit more for, uh, for the shoulders. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not fully sure exactly what I had to do again today. I should have taken a look at my, my notebook. Now I'm pretty much recording everything. And um, yeah, so uh, forgive me if I'm not saying everything that I actually did in the video, but here are the rest of the clips if I didn't get to any. Did Herc actually lift the weight a third time? You'll just have to wait and see. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Also, one thing that has really, really helped me as of recently is um, I've been watching a lot of motivational videos on YouTube and uh, they've really, really gotten me going. Um, I've been watching a lot of motivational videos because I really want to steer myself in the right path as far as competing and powerlifting goes to really psych myself up. And really just in, in all aspects of life, I'm really trying to push myself um, harder and forward with my academics, with my with my training and with how to train other people because I do want to dabble with personal training too a little bit in the, in the near future. Motivation is key. You guys have to stay motivated. If you're somebody who wants to reach a pinnacle point in their life, you want to compete at a high level or reach any kind of pinnacle point in their life, in your life, um, just keep pursuing your dreams. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If you have a goal, you have to make it you have to make it a reality in your mind. You have to envision yourself where you want to be so you can make it where you want to be. 
Um, so that's what I've been doing, and it's really, it's really, really helped me. So um, we'll see how far I get with that. I'm gonna keep my motivation going, and uh, you guys should too. Uh, just stay motivated. So uh, yeah, guys, that's the video. Um, I haven't posted in a while, like I said, because of I've been away from uh, school and stuff, things like that. But um, I will be sure to get back on my grind in the next week or two. All right, so take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.